Talk 365 Wellness Minute is brought to you by Green Horizon. Here is a funny story. I had to have, for a utility thing, I had to call and get my name on it. Okay. And the, Oh, yes. You've already told the story. And I have to give you my real age. I don't care, Trip. I'm not scared. I know your real age, too. I uh, yeah, but I we got it on each other. But we this we is also know mutually assured our destruction. Our years in L our L A years, so that's all that matters. Hey, but okay, wait, wait, wait! Quick, I have important quick news. story. Yes, but quick thought: the day that you go in, okay, to an establishment where they have no idea your age, but you could get a discount, and it, let's say five bucks on a as lunch. a senior. Yeah, as a senior. Like an early bird special. Yeah, something. But many years down the road, when you're a senior, will you do it or will you keep your mouth shut? I don't know. I, I think if I look young enough that I need to prove it, I'll probably do it to get the deal. I'm okay. going to be like on the cover of Sports Illustrated, like um, Christy Brinkley at 63. That's my goal. I'm going to be in better shape. Clearly have a long ways to go, Christy. I know. I'm even thinking about By buying way, that body machine she uses. There will be no... Her and uh, what? Bru not Bruce Lee. The uh, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. I want it. Body, There will what is be it? no Sports Illustrated by the time you're 63. There I don't won't care. Be. I'm going to find it. Well, I'm going to still do it. Something you, along those lines. You'll refurbish it? Something. I'll just reenact it myself. But okay, I have important news here. Are you okay. ready for this? Yes. Okay. So here at Talk 365 TV, we have this cute little tree that's by the entryway, kind of our covered patio entryway. And we had a bird, a cute little swallow, build its nest. We watched these five birds hatch. And as you know, because it's been all over the news recently, that there are many bird sanctuaries around Utah that if you find a bird or you see a bird's nest that gets destroyed, a place that you can bring the birds and they'll take care of them. Well, we had this apply really close to home because we watched these birds basically hatch. And then on my way out the door to head to a meeting, I watched a bluebird or a scrub jay. I'm being told not to like badmouth bluebirds. I thought it was a bluebird, but maybe the scrub jays. Either way, a big, nasty, mean bird that was blue fly in and pick two of these little babies off while I was standing there. Luckily, my meeting canceled because I was screaming and crying after that and had to go in and guard these birds. I guarded them with my life. We eventually brought them in with my friend Richard Nowak, and he runs one of these sanctuaries here in Salt Lake. It's just in West Valley off of 215. It is amazing sanctuary, first of all, and he is a great resource if you do find one of these birds. So he talked me through the first few like days and into the first couple weeks we kept these birds because we've had chickens before so I knew how to do the hot light, keep them hot. You have to feed them like every hour. People, this is a workout. I had Sylvia not editing and we were feeding birds. This was a labor of love. We love them. They were so cute. Your sister met them when yep. we were shooting that day. We loved all the noise and the crazy, even though it does get really, really loud. So eventually it got to a point though that it was more than we could handle. So I, I brought them Can in. I, I had done my good deed. Have, yes. you, have you met Quincy? My cat? Yes, the studio cat. He's the manager of the planet, but yeah. Didn't Quincy have some interest in these little birds? Oh yeah, Quincy um, just thought it was the coolest TV channel ever. I think he thought he was in charge of the birds too. He would just sit there and look at them. Because there is, as you know, maybe a rivalry in life between cats and birds. I don't, if you know Quincy, you know he's not actually a cat. Okay. He's just an alien in a cat's body here posing. So. Okay, just checking. Anywho, back to the birds. So what's most important from this story is number one, I learned firsthand how these 501c3 places that are helping birds how much work it is like this is these baby birds that you find it takes so much work to keep them alive and rehabilitate them and get them back into the wild when their nests get destroyed because these birds are like their survival rate is hardly any because they're so tiny i have no idea how they survive so i brought these birds over to him and got to see it firsthand what he does he has ducks that are there from china these ducks don't quack. They like make a noise like a dog and they wag their tail. He has geese, he has black swans. He has this incredible peacock that has imprinted to humans. And then on the site, he has a wild turkey. And this thing, I think he might've been a little bit in love with me because he kept following me around and he would puff up. And I have never seen anything like this ever in real life. And it makes a noise like, and he like puffs. And everyone was just laughing. They're like, oh, someone's in love. And he, kid you not. And it was sort of intimidating. This bird is big. And he just so maybe wandered the bird around. Had never seen hair like that. Birds tend to like the red hair. I mean, it's really bright and colorful. So they tend to fly at me. But 
Moral being, all of these birds are available, most of the birds are available for adoption. A lot of what happens is people decide they want an exotic duck and they order them in and then they find out in winter they don't have the caging appropriate to house the ducks and then they just throw them outside and let them be out there to die. And these people like Richard take them in and they run strictly on volunteer hours. So I'm telling you, it is summertime. If you find a baby bird, instead of trying to nurse it back to health yourself, bring it to Richard, give him a donation that you would have spent in the time that you'd spend trying to raise this bird and then probably kill it because they are really hard to raise. Have and volunteer and bring your kids because this is an incredible opportunity to see wildlife straight close in person and help a great cause. Right now, the thing that made me cry and the hardest thing for me there was the macaws and the African gray that's there. He has like five of these birds. They are intelligent. They live to be up to 120 years old. They are available for adoption and people just get them. And it's like seeing puppies and beautiful dogs that are, you know, just been abandoned and left for dead basically. And so if you're interested in any of these birds to adopt, please contact Richard. And his place is cute because it's called ASAP Bird Rescue, which stands for Avian Sanctuary and Protection Bird Rescue ASAP. You can find him online and definitely check out Facebook because he shows up every once in a while at Petco's near you with all the birds and the adoptable birds as well. So watch out for that and definitely give him a call and tell him Holly from Talk365 sent you. Bird news, everybody, coming at you right now. We have our Wellness Minute from Green Horizon coming at you. Here you go. Talk365 Wellness Minute is brought to you by Green Horizon. Hi, I'm Carrie Ford and I'm with Green Horizon. I have chronic Lyme disease and I'm also a 28-year pharmacy technician. So going to the green side seems kind of strange for me, but upon using CBD, I have gotten off five different pharmaceuticals that I used to have to take. It's done incredible things for me in my life, things that I didn't even expect would happen. I just feel better. I can get up and take care of my kids. And upon using CBD, I end up with my friend here, Snap. He got a soft tissue sarcoma cancer and had to have his leg removed before he was a year old. And the veterinary office that we go to is pretty amazed at how well he overcome losing his leg. And we're both healthier and happier now due to using CBD. So you can come see us here at Green Horizon or check us online at mygreenhorizon.com for more information.